personal loans can help in a pinch, but are they worth it? Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below with your thoughts. In this video, we'll look at what personal loans are and why people might need them. We'll also discuss the benefits and drawbacks of taking out a personal loan. By the end, you'll have a better idea of whether a personal loan is the right choice for you. We'll cover interest rates, fees, and how personal loans can impact your credit score. So stick around as we break down the essentials of personal loans and their worthiness. Personal loans are a type of unsecured loan, which means you don't need to put up any collateral like a house or car. They can be used for various purposes, such as consolidating debt, making large purchases or covering unexpected expenses. One of the main attractions of personal loans is their flexibility. Unlike specific loans like car loans or mortgages, personal loans can be used for almost anything. However, this flexibility comes with a cost. Interest rates on personal loans can be higher than those on secured loans because lenders take on more risk. Interest rates can vary widely depending on your credit score and financial history. Borrowers with excellent credit might get lower rates, while those with poor credit could face significantly higher rates. It's also essential to look at the fees associated with personal loans. Some lenders charge origination fees, which can add to the overall cost of the loan. Late payment fees and prepayment penalties are other potential costs to consider. These fees can add up quickly, making the loan more expensive than initially anticipated. Another important factor is the loan term. Personal loans typically have fixed terms ranging from one to seven years. Shorter loan terms mean higher monthly payments but less interest paid over time. Longer terms mean lower monthly payments but more interest paid overall. Your credit score can be affected by taking out a personal loan. On one hand, timely payments can improve your score. On the other hand, missing payments can harm your credit score. It's crucial to make sure you can afford the monthly payments before taking out a loan. Debt consolidation is a common reason people take out personal loans. By combining multiple debts into one loan, you can simplify your payments and potentially lower your interest rate. However, this only works if you don't accumulate more debt after consolidating. It's important to change spending habits to avoid falling back into debt. Personal loans can also be a solution for medical bills or unexpected expenses. They provide quick access to funds when you need them most. But it's important to weigh the urgency of the expense against the cost of borrowing. Sometimes it might be better to explore other options like borrowing from family or friends. If you have a good credit score, personal loans can be more affordable. Lenders offer better rates to those with higher credit scores. On the other hand, if your credit isn't great, you might end up paying high interest rates. In such cases, it might be wise to explore other financial options. It's worth taking the time to compare different lenders. Interest rates and fees can vary significantly from one lender to another. Online lenders, credit unions and traditional banks all have different offerings. Make sure to read the fine print and understand the terms before signing anything. Repayment plans are another critical aspect to consider. Some lenders offer more flexible repayment options than others. It's also worth checking if the lender allows for early repayment without penalties. This can save you money on interest if you can pay off the loan sooner. Another thing to consider is the impact on your financial future. Taking on too much debt can limit your ability to borrow for significant purchases like a home or car later on. Personal loans can be a useful financial tool when used wisely. But they are not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's essential to assess your financial situation carefully. Consider your income, expenses and other debts before deciding to take out a loan. Different people have different financial needs and circumstances. 
what works for one person might not be the best option for another. Some people use personal loans to invest in their education or start a business. These can be good investments if they lead to higher income in the future. But they also come with risks. There's no guarantee that your investment will pay off. So it's important to weigh the potential benefits against the risks. Make sure you have a clear plan for how you'll use the funds and how you'll repay the loan. In the end, the worthiness of a personal loan depends on your individual situation. Now, let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of personal loans. One advantage is the flexibility in how you can use the funds. You can use a personal loan for debt consolidation, home improvement, medical bills or even a holiday. Another advantage is that personal loans often have fixed interest rates and monthly payments. This means you know exactly what you will pay each month and can budget more effectively. A third advantage is that personal loans can help improve your credit score if you make timely payments. Responsible borrowing and repayment can boost your credit profile. On the downside, personal loans can come with high interest rates, especially if you have a less than perfect credit score. This can make the loan more expensive over time. Another disadvantage is the potential fees. Origination fees, late payment fees and prepayment penalties can add to the cost of your loan. A third disadvantage is the impact on your credit score if you miss payments. Late or missed payments can harm your credit score, making it harder to borrow in the future. Additionally, taking on a personal loan can limit your borrowing capacity for other needs. Too much debt can affect your ability to get a mortgage or car loan later on. Finally, it's important to consider the risk of accumulating more debt. If you use a personal loan to consolidate debt, but do not change your spending habits, you could end up in even more debt. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment, as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to personal loans. Are they worth it? Meet Sarah, a 35-year-old teacher from London. Sarah had accumulated several credit card debts and was struggling to keep up with the payments. She decided to take out a personal loan to consolidate her debt into one manageable monthly payment. With a good credit score, she secured a loan with a lower interest rate than her credit cards, which made her monthly payments more affordable. Sarah also took steps to avoid falling back into debt. She created a strict budget, cut down on non-essential expenses, and set up automatic payments to ensure she never missed a due date. Over time, this helped her improve her credit score and reduce her overall debt more quickly. If you are considering a personal loan, the first step is to assess your financial situation. Look at your income, expenses and existing debts to determine if you can afford the monthly payments. Next, shop around and compare different lenders. Pay attention to the interest rates, fees and repayment terms. Make sure you understand all the terms before signing any agreement. Remember, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out and would be greatly appreciated.